Remembering Marion Berry, mourners can still pay their respects before the city gives the so-called mayor for life a moving and final send-off. John Gonzalez is live outside the Wilson Building in Northwest Washington, D.C. with more. Good morning, John. Well, good morning, Kai. You know, yesterday, former mayors Adrian Fenty and Tony Williams greeted mourners as they filed into City Hall here with the city's next mayor, Muriel Bowser. Hundreds and hundreds came by to say their final goodbyes and thank you to a man who definitely overcame adversity, serving four terms as mayor of D.C. Now, we want to show you a live picture of inside the Wilson Building at this hour as the public memorial has once again started here. The doors have opened. The public viewing, I should say, has started again here from 6 to 9. And we can tell you people were waiting outside before the doors even opened this morning. Now, after this shorter viewing, if you will, the procession with the casket of Mary and Barry will tentatively begin at 930 this morning. There will be several rolling road closures, including here in downtown D.C., Pennsylvania Avenue and Independence, for example. Now, the procession will be on M Street in Southeast for some time. That's near Nats Park over there and head up the 11th Street Bridge. Many are expected to line Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue later this morning. The final destination for that procession will be at Temple of Praise where Reverend Al Sharpton will speak at the memorial service there this evening and then tomorrow the public viewing and funeral will be held at the convention center speakers there include dc cardinal donald whirl and the reverend jesse jackson thousands are expected to attend that public funeral and again dozens are already inside here at the wilson building paying their final respects reporting live john gonzalez abc7 news